I always have this wild setup of forgetting that when my music is too sorry, I'm judging. When my music is too loud, why stinky? That I can literally just turn it down. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Costco again. Good morning, Bloodboard Costco. I even made sure it was off. I even made sure it was off. I don't know why it insists on putting me in Bloodborne Costco every single time. I turned it off. I know I turned it off this time. Just unbind it. It's not bound on my uh, stream deck. I think it's something on my stream deck. Otherwise, I would just unbind it. So I think it's something that the stream deck is doing. Because I have it bound on my numbers. Computer's haunted. We can never leave Bloodborne Costa. We're here. Clearly, we're here forever. Clearly, we're here forever. I think it has to be something with the stream deck proper. Because, like, it only ever happens, I notice. Morning. Um, it only ever happens when I switch from starting over to IRL. But it just seems very weird because it's not showing anything like that in voice mod. But at any rate, y'all just tell me and I'm like, oh, okay, we in Costco. Now just turn it off. You're always a special announcer. Oh, shut up, Kaiser. Shut up, Kaiser. How is everybody? Hey, Crutch. Hey, Mega. Hey, Amelie. Hey, Kodanen. Vallejo. Cosmic. How are y'all doing? Hey, Star Dancer. Where is the lie? Oh, my God. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Oh my lord. What are you doing, Stinky? Oh my god, my cat is cosplaying the PS5. Like, he's just sitting right next to it. And he's just like, I need to be as close to this as possible. I'm awake and I'm doing okay, kind of. I feel like that's the status of everyone right now, Amelie. Because, like, I had to go to Twitter to post my go live tweet, as you do as one does and like i saw some of the stuff from yesterday and i'm just irritated all over oh my goodness gamer kitty. yeah he's a gamer kitty now he's a gamer kitty now so thank you so much for the seven months i appreciate you can you not sit on that though thank you stinky got your cat butt on my freaking abermedia live mini I think if I do um, one of the internal ones, I am going to do it with Amarita. That voice effect clean up on aisle 12. Price check on Lean Cuisine Meatloaf on track. <laughs> Not the meatloaf. I always, okay. This is a sidebar entirely. We've sidebarred and we're not even 10 minutes in. So, okay. Have y'all ever wondered when you go to stores and you see cleanups that are needed, how some of the stuff just happens? Like, the cleanup of juice, perfect sense. It's in a plastic jug, the jug broke, the juice spills. I get that. But when you see some cleanups and it's like somehow completely unthawed meatloaf in the freezer aisle, I always have wondered, it's like, but when did it get time to unthaw? Oh, don't use that word, Rokna. I had to think about how to say your name for a second. I was like, wait, it looks like Knuckles. We're good. We're good. But yeah, I always wondered that. I'm like, how long has this been here for it to be completely unthawed? Because that means either someone dropped it and it was neglected, and it was neglected, or they had it in their cart that long and then dropped it. In both cases, I don't... How did this happen? What do you mean it's completely unthawed? That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> or like certain things are spilled perfectly and I'm like, what? How did this? Hmm, interesting, interesting. But yeah, Amelie, I, I had that moment just logging into Twitter because I had notifications on a thread that I thought I had muted. You love my robe? Oh, thank you. This is the original wine cellar bathrobe. I haven't been wearing bathrobes in a bit, mostly because I wind up doing um, work all the way up until it's time for me to stream. No, Mega, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking. It's like, did you just have the meatloaf in your cart for like four hours? Because if that's the case, I have several questions. 
Like one, why were you in Target for four hours? What the hell were you doing? Good God. Yeah, I was like, this is the wine cellar original. It's the rope that's in all of my emotes. I worked as a cashier and I can explain that meatloaf. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean you can explain it? Shut up, Amelie. <laughs> But I, 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 I'm interested now, Paper. What do you mean you can explain that meatloaf? Because there's, there's stuff that I can explain from like waiting tables that people will be like, why did this happen? I'll be like, oh, I got you. I can answer that. But frozen meat, what? <laughs> Even in the case of like, even in the case of like frozen noodles, I can make sense out of it because it's just noodles. Meat take a while to unthaw. Or to thaw, I should, I should say. Unthawing is not a thing. I guess at that point you're just freezing it. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm still waking up too. It's like, I can explain, but I think you would rather not know. It was a return that was left on the side by a cashier. See, see, that tracks though. That makes perfect sense. I can see that happening. That's just straight up negligence and that that's legit. That's legit. I'm talking about the one that's like on the floor splattered and open. Like you can see all the crappy low budget gravy. You can see the, the peas and the carrots and everything else. Hey Raven. And you can see all of that stuff. The one that's left on the cashier. Oh! Anna, thank you so much for reviewing the popping for everybody. I appreciate you. Everyone say thank you to Anna for the fourth. How many points is it worth? I think it's 400. I think it's 400. I don't remember. I think it's 400. This, did it take someone that long to clean it up? That These are the questions that I have. These are the questions that I have because I want to know. I want to fucking know. Oh, SJ messed it up? Oh, that's that tracks. That tracks. Oh my lord. But yeah, are captions okay today? No, captions has been going through it back and forth. Captions have been going through it back and forth. It, it likes to decide to work and then other days it doesn't. But it's mostly because of how I have everything cascaded on my third monitor. All right, what is this inside joke? What is this joke that y'all are doing? What is this joke y'all are doing? Hey, Sid! Captions dropped that meatloaf. Oh my God, you didn't just accuse the captions of dropping the meatloaf. Hey, Talis. I don't get it either. Yeah, I don't get the joke. What is this joke with the top of the morning nonsense? Explain yourself. Because you've said it in the mod chat, and now you've said it in main chat. It's a song lyric from Kendrick Lamar. It's some other person he collab. Me and Amelie are still on the same page. <laughs> but where does the joke start? Where I'm confused. Oh, I have to answer this question. A common question, I'll answer it on stream too, and I'll answer it on Twitter. Do I need prior experience in the series of Tales of, insert word here. I've never played a Tales game before, but this one looks amazing. So this is for everybody, and I'm gonna tell this to Zachary as well, because Zachary is a gem. Um, you don't, the Tales games are all separate. You do not have to be, there's not an entry point. You don't have to play all of them to be caught up on story, which very frankly, thank fuck for that thank fuck for that if you don't want them answered you better not ask them questions i ask questions because i want answers all right so what did i just say no prior tales xp required Oh, I'm so glad Zach is doing well. 
There are very few Tales games that are connected, but the few that are, are mostly meant to be standalone, even if you didn't play the previous game. Yeah, like, don't they have just references, more or less, in them? Or, like, little bits and pieces that you kind of just pull back to on occasion, kind of-ish? A blessing? What's a blessing? What's a blessing? <laughs> I went and checked the song. Oh no. What did you find, Amelie? That games have callbacks but aren't necessarily connected. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that much more because that's one of the things. Oh, fuck off, Sprint. That's one of the things that I think is the most frustrating, in perfect honesty, is being required to have to play the whole series up until a point, and that series is like 20 games deep. And I'm like, I don't want to play all of this. <laughs> it doesn't even matter if I'm hyper interested. I don't want to play all of this. <laughs> Please, I beg, I beg. I have to listen to the lyric myself. I have to listen to the lyric myself. I'm not sure. Fantasia and Symphony are connected. The two Zillia games are. The two actual Tales of Destiny games were. We never got the real Destiny. Tales. Oh my God. Tales of Destiny Two in the West. Is this. Zisteria and Bazaria are, but generally they assume that you wouldn't have played the game per se and explain enough. Oh, that's nice. You could just say King No 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 no. We're not gonna we're not gonna curse tales like that. Because I don't care that the opinion is unpopular. The Kingdom Heart timeline doesn't fucking make sense. Even the direct sequels, you don't really need the background, it just helps contextualize things. Thank you, Travis. Oh yeah, you're a big Tales player too. But yeah, no, we're, 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 don't don't wish that on anybody. That's Ricky Bobby level shit. Because as someone, I'm first of all, I'm still angry that they made me wait from when I was 19 to when I was 33 for the third fucking game. I'm gonna, I'm never gonna not be angry about that. Trust when I say that. But then on top of that, like, no amount of witchcraft of uh, Hubaloo or anything you want to throw out there can rationalize the motherfucking um, timeline that is Kingdom Hearts. Like, I know that there are people who've done the work and they've, like, strung it all together. Hey, Hacho. Um, they've strung it all together and you can piece it all together. You can figure stuff out. But it is really the fact that they spread this one storyline, this one fucking storyline, Across what was it? What was the final head count? Five consoles? Was it five or six? I had that same amount of rage for both the King of Hearts 3 weight and the Final Fantasy 15 weight. We had entire console generations come and go. That part. It's that part. Because Kingdom Hearts 3 was on the PS4. Kingdom Hearts 2 was on the PS2. It was on two. There was a whole console that was just posted there like, so do I get anything? Or What are we doing here, boss? What's Gucci? What's going on? But why wouldn't you want to play the third Kingdom Hearts with your hypothetical children by that point? Oh, paper! I was old enough to have kids! Hello? That was so absurd! And it's the fact that the first one was PS1, the second one was PS2, and then everything all over and everywhere, we hit the DS, we hit the PSP, I always forget what all consoles it hit. What is this? Oh, good. My food's coming. Um, it's supposed to be here at like 1110, which sucks, but it is, it's whatever. At least it's confirmed. Game Boy Advance. Oh God, I forgot. That's the one I always forget. Game Boy Advance. It had it on 3DS. They had it on PSP. It was on PS2. It was on PS4. Um, it started on PS1. That's six consoles. Hey, Ilias. That's six fucking consoles, dog. What the fuck were you thinking? Oh, hold on, seven. We forgot mobile games. I was like, yeah, Sophia just got to it. And mobile. PS2, DS, GBA, PSP, 3DS, PS4. You can now loop in PC and Xbox with the remasters. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, no, and there's mobile games. And they all had story that you had to have to make the story make sense. At 
at least with the tail series, they're not required. <laughs> that was the point. That was the core thing. At least with the tail series, they're not fucking required. Oh my god. What nonsense. What absolute foolishness. I will die angry about recoded being plot important. <laughs> recoded. What was the one that was like a rhythm game? What was the rhythm game one? That was just kind of like a rehash. And thankfully with Final Fantasy, same thing. No prerequisite knowledge. Yes, like, you can play every uh, Final Fantasy as a standalone. I got a lot of people who are really hyped about playing 4. Really hyped about playing 4. Something of memories, no chain of memories. No, no, no. My, my favorite title is still, what is it? 365 over two days? And I just want to sit down. Hey, John. I just want to sit down with their marketing team and be like, okay... I just want to know who came up with these names. Like, fighting games, I expect nonsense. Undernight in birth with a bunch of, like, additional words? Fuck me up. Guilty Gear, Exer, Reloaded, whatever? Fuck me up. Sure. Sure. And then you get the Kingdom Hearts, and I'm like, this is not, this isn't okay. This is aggressive. This is aggressive. I, I dislike this. Cage plot makes me think that really complicated time travel movie that came out several years ago. I heard it. Yeah, he's down here complaining. Yeah, I know. It's time to complain. Yeah, I know. It's time to complain. Is it Looper? Why you got? Why you attack Chin? Huh? Why you attack my Chin? Oh no, you go try and go to sleep? No, you can't go to sleep. You can't go to sleep. I listened to 20 hours of podcasts where for adults ran four adults ran down Kingdom Hearts plot. 20 hours? No. At least Guilty Gear Exer or Ex no, I'm sorry, Exer was using music things for update names, thematically relevant. Have you considered he can go to sleep? I'm not gonna let him. I feel that the Final Fantasy VII remake is going to be paced out over a decade and it hurts. Um, Blizzard. So, funny thing about that. It was like an indie movie. Oh my god. But Sleepy Baby. Okay, so, oh, what was I about to say? What was I going to say? Final Fantasy VII remake. Uh, I made my complaints about that out the gate. And I told people, I was like, if this is going to be the full remake of Seven, and the first segment stops at Midgar... We're going to be here for like the next decade. I You can literally go to Discord and look that conversation up where I flat out said, this is going to take like a decade because they're going to break it up into chunks and those chunks are going to be broken up into relevance. Oh God, no, Morbert. No. The, okay, hang on. Oh gosh, okay. See, even Funky's upset about this. He just turned his head and was like, oh my Lanta, she's going to have to talk about Final Fantasy. So the Final Fantasy VII Remake was everything up until leaving Midgar. But the problem is that they're rewriting the entire game, which personally, thank God for that, because the original game story sucked and I will gladly die on that fucking hill. The original Final Fantasy VII story sucks. But like, now that they're rewriting it, there's no idea what direction it's gonna go, which is very exciting, I think. Because they're trying to from what I feel is happening, I think they're trying to make the story, and I'm going to say something wild for a Squaresoft title, a little more coherent. Oh my god, Amelie, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> it was a Waypoint podcast, if you just Google Waypoint Kingdom Hearts, I don't remember actual length, but it was real long. It's time to cry for breakfast now. Right. Right. Oh, fuck, he's hiding. Um, coherent Square Story? Nah. Th that's why I said... It's gonna be a weird one. That's gonna be a stretchy poo. That's gonna be a stretch. So like, it went up to Midgar, but as you progress through the game, there were certain things that were purposely incorrect. And by the time you got out of Midgar, everything was jacked up. So we have two things that we're gonna be dealing with here as a result. One, what is gonna be still part of the core story. And then two, since we have so many things happening at once, can you elaborate without spoilers? I can't. Um, since we have two things happening at once, more or less, how is that going to be broken up? So, like, 
literally you have different entities now that are coming in and the best way to describe it without getting heavy into spoilers Morbert is it's a bunch of timey-wimey nonsense um characters are rewritten much better are we really gonna say Chrono Trigger wasn't coherent Parasite Eve was coherent Parasite Eve won at least I'm only I'm only giving that to one I haven't played two or three so I can't speak to those but Parasite Eve 1 was coherent. Brave Prince of Musashi was coherent. Brave Prince of Musashi was real coherent. Have I played through the Yuffie DLC yet? No, I just started it. I just started it. And um, everyone will be happy to know I am three hours in and yes, I have Ramu. Yes, I have Ramu. And yes, everyone is getting clapped up in Fort Condor. Give me them pieces, fam. Come here. You want to teach your kid how to play Fort Condor? I'm going to beat your ass in it, and then you can go tell your daughter about it. How's that sound? Is she fun? Ooh, she feels real good to play. She feels real good to play. Paul sat on the couch and watched me play against, um, against Ramu, and he was just like, oh my god, you're just always going to be like this. And I was like, I am. I am. And uh, Wine Cellar, don't worry. Do not fear. I absolutely forgot to scan him when I beat him. Absolutely forgot to scan him. I literally, every time I died, I scanned him. And when I finally killed him, as soon as that screen came up, I looked dead at Paul and was like, I ain't scan him. I know I didn't scan him, cause I got the W. So I, there's no way I scanned him. Went and checked the log, no scan. <laughs> and I was like, God. I have to go back and do this again! I can go back and do it again, it's fine. I just beat it on early game because I'm hard-headed. Tails is doing a good job of keeping me humble. Because it gave me a level 43 monster out the box. And I'm just like, but I just want to beat it. And the game is like literally, literally level 10. I understand that, but I just want to kill it. I just want to kill it. Oh my lord. Alright, with that being said, let's get into some video games. Ah! Oh, is it time? Oh, he's leaving. Stinky, what are you doing? You don't know what you're doing? I get where you're coming from, but me and my pointy metal strongly disagree. I just want to kill it. Why? Why? Get out of here. The Tales de Salt. Oh, she was cru uh, cruising with Symphonia. Unleash the Mantis. Humble Mode must be engaged. Be angry about it. Be angry about it. Where's the clip of, um, no, I have the clip. I have the clip. I have this. Because I was talking to Hackbolt about it last night. I was talking to Hackbolt about it last night because they were thinking about picking, um, Symphonia back up. And I was like, but consider Symphonia with friends. And I know the captions just broke. If the game didn't want you to fight level 43 monster, then why did it give you one? Hey, did... They wanted me to fight it. Y'all can't be upset with me. I was just answering the call. The controls still fit a bit off with the auto attack being a bumper. Yeah, yeah. The auto attack being a bumper is very bizarre. It has real big, like, experimental energy. Um, I say experimental because we have plenty of cases where the attack has been the bumper, but I feel like that works for certain games. Not paying attention to me anymore, tail bow. He got up on his own. I didn't move him. He got up. He got up and hung out on the chair. I was just like, gonna whack you. Oh my goodness, this game just broke me. I was not ready for this one. Wait, what do you mean, Luna? Are you further? Are you further in? And yeah, Vallejo, it works for the Soulsborne series, but I don't, it just doesn't feel right for this. I didn't say it was a fair system, but it's the one the cats are using. Little turds, little turds. I was gonna say, I was like, did the music break? Okay, where is, I was starting to get angry. I was like, I've been playing this whole OST and I haven't heard a single knuckle song. 
And I know it's going in order of Sonic songs, Tail songs, and it's like, y'all gonna put respect on Knuckles' name. Like, I literally will not start my game until we hear a Knuckles song. So, let's talk about charity, and then let's get into some video games. Sorry. I just... I still can't believe that water got on my roots. So, video games. We're still raising money for Charity Water. Uh, Charity Water was generous to stop in last night and drop off, like, big water facts. And I feel like I learned a lot. I had no idea that the dollar... Listen, I don't even want to... I don't even want to talk about it, Cosmic. I'm so bitter and angry. Um, I'm still floored by the fact that $1 is 1,100 liters of water. Like, that blows my mind. That blows my mind forever. So I went ahead and asked him last night after stream. I was like, hey, I wanted to ask, when you're talking about clean water, does that mean just clean drinking water or clean water, period? And he was more than happy to elaborate. It's all clean water. So even though the places that they're taking the water to is predominantly for drinking, they use it for all things that they need. So they use it for bathing, for cooking, for actually watering their crops. They use the water for everything. And I was like, damn, a dollar, huh? He's like, yeah, a dollar. So it's a great cause. It's fantastic. I will probably be revisiting them in the future because I love that. I love it so much. Oh, speaking of water. Hmm. Bless them, yes. So we're gonna be raising money for Charity Water for the entire month of September. Entire month of September. If you wanna donate, you can do exclamation point donate, exclamation point charity, and you can get the link. If you don't wanna leave the page, you don't want to open another tab because shit's annoying, we do have the panel down below that has the actual campaign attached to it. Also, as a gentle reminder, if you're not donating and you're holding off, I'm gonna illuminate people who are watching that don't know about this, Next week, we're going to be doing crowd control. Next week, we're doing crowd control and having official Sonic the Hedgehog month. I feel like this is only appropriate. <clears throat> it's going to be Sonic month. It's Sonic month. And what that means is we're going to be doing crowd control with Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, we are going to be playing Sonic Mania. It very round. I love my Orby boy. Very Orby. Um, we'll be playing Sonic Mania. Y'all have done Sonic Mania on Crowd Control before. And we're also gonna be playing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Yeah, this is my shiny key orb. This is your orb. Oh, that was actually kinda good. Hmm? Oh no, he's sideways. No, I have him right here. So yes, this is like my favorite plushie. This is my favorite thing in Under the Sun. I love my Sonic Orb. Uh, also, like all the GDQ people, I don't know if anyone subbed to GDQ here, but if you have spins, and I don't see those spins over the course of that entire streak of Sonic 2, I don't even know what we're doing. Those water numbers are still seriously blowing my mind. And for me, it puts it into stark relief with the wealth of differences between here and there, with us and our refrigerated bottle water. This is what I was saying yesterday is that to get a 36 pack of this sparkling flavored water is five bucks. And I'm like, I know that that's not 1100 meters, uh, meters, liters. So, you know, it kind of just puts it into perspective. And Paula brought up a good point about how that's also because they don't have middlemen, they don't have warehouses, they don't have wholesalers. They're literally just taking it straight to the source. So this is your reminder that, cap uh, that capitalism is terrible. Capitalism sucks. Bless orbs. This is the new wine cellar slogan. Capitalism sucks. Bless the orb. All right, I'm putting my orb back. Y'all know I got this in both, right? I have the blue one and I have the supersonic one. Attack and dethrone capitalism. Yes. <laughs> yes. Attack and dethrone capitalism. Oh, one other reminder about charity fundraising. We will be doing this. At some point in October, we're going to have our Lego stream. So the reason I bring this up is because there is a target on the campaign. Oh, no. There's a target on the campaign for $1,000. If we hit that target, I'm going to give one of these away. We're going to give one of these away. Hang on a second. My robe was acting up. I'm very excited to build this. I'm very excited to build this. 
is double disgusting when you consider they sell it by the 20 ounce bottle for two dollars uh my gym if i forget water a 30 ounce bottle a 32 ounce bottle is three bucks so yeah if you want a chance to win one of these make sure when you donate that you choose the target and we hit that oh my god i'm so excited about this so excited all right hang on i gotta fix my robe oh my god that's inappropriate funky Everything about that's inappropriate. Bonsai Lego searches for credit card. Oh, Morbert, it's worse than that. Because there's bonsai trees. Um, they have bouquets. They have roses. They're absolutely stunning. But try to ignore the people in the ads. Because the people in the ads are especially ugly. <laughs> they're especially ugly and they're especially cliche. And what I mean by that is, like, for the bonsai tree... Because it's supposed to emulate cherry blossoms, their idea of highlighting that was to get this dude who is like the epitome of hipster trash. Like, I mean, his hair is up in the, the top bun. He's doing one up. Hang on, let me see if I can get some messy hair. Let's do that. He they, they pulled out one of those guys. They pulled out this guy. Who's building the Lego looking like this. Well, not as goofy. His hair's up, he's got the bun, and he's got like the arbitrary, mandatory, can't tell what it is tattoo here, and he has a beard. See? Morbert, you're looking at it right now, aren't you? <laughs> he has the, the top bun, the scruffy beard, the poorly discerned um, tattoo that's on the arm, and he's like in a long sleeve shirt looking very pleased with putting together Legos. And I want to send him a message and be like, y'all got to stop this. You got to stop this. I pulled up PT and suddenly everything requires my attention. Oh, that, that sounds about right. The bun's not in frame, but I can feel it. Oh, no, it's doing one of, hang on, I think I can do it. It's doing one of these numbers. Like, you see how you can see the bun, but not the whole thing? You, you've seen these adverts. We're on the same page. We're on the exact same page. And I really want to message him and be like, y'all have to stop. You have to stop. That's one of those pictures that'll make me want to shave my beard off. Uh, no. No, it won't make you want to shave your beard off. You'll just look at it and be like, I just want to get you a pic. I just want to get you a comb. That's it. The Lego pixel art makes me feel a kind of way. I love the aesthetic, but they want 100 to No. No. I've, I've answered that for everybody. No. As much as I am enjoying the bonsai, the bonsais cost like 50 bucks. And the nice thing about it is when I put it together and it's done, I'm probably going to put it behind me. But I don't know where I want to put it because I also have to have my, my Nergi. It's an Invisibun? Yeah. Yeah, it's an Invisibun. Exactly. It, it just... The absolute nonsense. Ooh. Hey, rabbits. How are you? How are the things and stuff? Alright. I got my Knuckles music. We're Gucci. Let's see if the PS4 wants to act right today. Four, five. It's a five. All right, y'all might see me look weird for a little bit and I'm so sorry in advance. Oh my God, we got it on the first attempt, y'all. Let's get into it. Also, I was so tired last night that I legitimately forgot to turn off my PS5. Like, legitimately forgot to turn it off. May I drop? I saw part of it, but now all my stuff is jacked up because, of course, it is. Yes, drop your constant warning as you get into the mix. You absolutely can. Um, I have to find OBS. OBS just, like, actually flew all over my setup. Because uh, I have a nice setup that I could do the HDMI and the... There we go. I can do HDMI plus display, but whenever I swap between it, it immediately is just like, 
no, you had all your windows on this monitor, right? And I'm like, no. No, I didn't. Please, stop. But yeah, I saved it. Um, it doesn't have a bunch of hours accrued on it. Today is the last day of playing Tales of Arise. So if you want to see what the game is about, you want to see what it's uh, like getting into, want to get a feel for whether or not this is something you want to play, this is the last day that you're going to see it on the wine cellar. And then after that, it's just going to be me gushing about it outside of, uh, outside of everything. And yes, I skipped the intro because we watched it three times. We've watched it three times. This is as up to date as of where Nessa last left off. So there may be some things that come up that neither she nor I know about. So please view with caution. Yes, the tales of Arise and tales of games in general have a very, very strong tendency to deal with a lot of heavy themes, a lot of really just pressing content, and it does get much deeper over time. So if you're someone that doesn't do well with a lot of things pertaining to capitalism, abuse, um, we have mentions he's already got it kind of in chat with slavery and other things. This is one that you may want to lurk for because the, the games consistently are not afraid to walk face first into these problems. Not afraid at all. It will just pull up and be like, all right, we're going to talk about imperialism. And that's what you're doing. And you'll raise your hand and go, um, excuse me, aren't the people in this story uh, 16? And you'll go, yes. Yes, they are. And you'll sit with that and it'll be awkward and it'll be really uncomfortable and then you have people like me who get extra angry at it but then even more so when it's things like um the email story i'm still gonna fight yoko taro on site for that i am still 500 percent boxing yoko taro on site for that i was wondering if they gave you constant warning or if you were building them yourself i'm building them myself um I don't think uh, Bandai Namco has really been in the business of handing out lots and lots of content warnings, which is kind of its own conversation. But to kind of offset that ever so slightly, I will say that they're one of the few developers that when it comes to these topics and these uh, pieces of information, they are much better than most in how they handle it. Like Tales of Symphonia, we all played it on stream. They had a lot of conversation. We're in code vein now, right? Um, we had, oh wait, Amelie, you didn't see it, did you? Wait, wait, I have to do it for Amelie. I gotta do it to her. No. Oh, this is what's wrong. Now we're in code vein. <laughs> oh, hey Malavik. Yep, it's just code vein. It's true, it's very true. Um. So we're code vein now. These are, mm -mm, I don't like those. Games with content warnings, proper content warnings feel like a recent implementation, but that might just be personal lens. No, it's not. It's not personal lens at all. Normally I don't pick on the weak. All right, so these are new. You say that they're weak. Oh, these boils got poison. I dislike it. Oh, wrong button. Right button. Get body. Oh, and your friend got caught in it. Get jacked up. Not you stayed alive. Does any of the big companies give content warnings? Um, that's a good question. I don't think that they do. Because the only time I've seen content warnings very, very commonly is through indies. Um, does Psychonauts fall into that? Because Psychonauts 2 has a fantastic content warning at the start of their game. Like an absolutely stellar, needs to be industry standard content warning. I feel like these statues are going to come to life and I'm just not into that, like at all. Hey, you remember that time I said the statues were going to come to life? And then they did. Get out the air, son. We have things to talk about down here. And also, everyone's weak to win and I love that for us. What the fuck happened? I've only okay. I forgot completely forgot about Psychonauts 2. Oh yeah, their content warnings are fantastic. I was like, girl, if you don't wake me up. I was about to grab my wine and I don't have any. The closest most big companies get to it are the ESB RB ratings. And I oh my gosh. 
Never imagined there were Zoogles out there. A while ago, a while, a while ago, I was actually in um, an article for Can I Play That? It was, no, it wasn't, I wasn't in an article. I wrote it. <laughs> I wrote the article in Can I Play That about how the ESRB ratings are nowhere near up to snuff. Like, it's just, it, it's not. A lot of people try to lean into that saying, oh, well, if you check your ESRB stuff, it'll let you know. The problem with the ESRB rating, honestly speaking, is that... Okay, cool. Uh, the problem with the ESRB rating, honestly speaking, is that it's too vague. It's entirely too vague. And so developers don't have to outline it with a ton of stuff on it. They can just say, oh, this is rated E for everyone and completely omit the part where there's like cartoon violence or any type of blood or things it's like that. Um, we get the same After thing with games that are rated too. teen and M for mature. The cold air you can literally just look at them side by side and there's the no real discernible land, factors so to make them very, very, very you. different. I am very hungry, so I need is my food the little to get guy here. Okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about yep, that sounds about right. I right expect from Cislodia. Oh yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Oh, oh dear. Oh no, my glasses! Just like I said. You never know when snake eyes are watching you. Oh dear. Well, that's, that's the personal attack. Apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. Don't like that. So, Renan's surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. <laughs> and uh, rabbits, accurate. Difference is. In Cislodia, it's not just Renans. They've got Dan and spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. It's very on all the nose. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's like always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Mm. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Mm. Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Oh, no. How are your glasses staying up? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. <laughs> That's why the world needs people like us. Anime noise. Oh! What is this place anyway? What's with these columns and steps? I think that's my hair and glasses. No idea. I've never been here before either. Rena's convoy it? squads probably used it in the past. I guess it's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? No. Oh my God, I do have I'm that not hair. Interested in learning either. <sighs> Actually, these are Dan and Ruins. See, you can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Dan and designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. I don't know why his ear is missing a piece. Right. I don't know why his ear is missing a piece. I have the same hair as the main character, and I don't know how I feel about that. 
because that means I actually am going to be an anime pro tag and I don't know that I signed up for this. Oh! And she just went in there, huh? But yeah, the ESRB is, I think Rabbit has it on the nose. It's really just there for people who are bothered by the idea that games can do something more than be like, ha ha, he he, throw the ball or do something. I'm not already. I didn't sign up to be a pro tag. <laughs> you gave it to him? I understand that, but I didn't expect that it actually looked like my fucking hair. Like, look at this. Look at the swoop. I didn't know it was gonna do that. Oh, but it's better than that. How is this asim? Well, we do tend to manifest into things we enjoy. You can't become the cameo boss encounter unless you've been a protagonist before. That's the rules. Oh, Lord. But I'm always a boss encounter, SJ. We saw this on the clips. You played Tales of Symphonia with me. Why are you acting like this? Oh, no. I messed up. Wow, are you really going to talk trash to me in the middle of combat? Oh, no. Those are poison bubbles. Get the fuck away from me. Oh god. Obligatory shit posting is my job. Saying obvious shit. I'm not getting in that purple on uh, that green shit. I'm not getting that green shit. I don't know, can I actually do the ponytail too? I think I Oh no. Oh no. I can do the full Help me. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I, I, okay. I'm just gonna hold the L. I'm, I'm a fucking anime pro tag, apparently. Uh, wait, someone's... An enemy lands an attack that inflicts an ailment. Each hit will increase the potential for infection. If it hits too many times, you'll be inflicted with it and need to cure it with either an art and item or wait for it to dissipate. Oh good, it can just wear out over time. Poison, paralysis, oh paralysis can go home. Paralysis can go home. Freeze and curse. Ooh, and they all reduce um, attack gauge. Do 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 All right, fight stuff. I also feel like my damage is not nearly high enough. Okay, it's fine. All right, get this out of here. Did we hit both? We did hit both. Nice. That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Nice to see some black anime pro tags. If there are any black characters, they often relegated to support. So this is why I want Stick Boy. I want the man with the stick in this real bad. Because he's an actual pro tag. Hey, Urban Scholar, how are you? How you doing? Oh, no. Okay. Normally, I don't pick on the weak. Uh, If y'all don't get the hell away from her, y'all gonna get enough of trying to get my girl with the gun. Stop it. Alright. I wanna see more strikes. I think they're both dead. She can get Raidus early in the game. Oh yeah, I, I don't mess around. I'm, I'm focusing down the heavy duty stuff because I quite literally... I require being broken. Oh no. I can't get to. I can. Her special move is gun. With a side of uh, healing. Doop. 
Actually, I'm going to change our outfit again. We're done being Coat Vein. Because we did Coat Vein the first stream. Let's do... Let's do a school outfit. Huh? See, but I like the curl... Oh! Oh, I like that. It's supposed to go with that. That's kind of cute too, though. Is this Hades? Clearly. We're in Hades now. Oh, I really like that outfit. So I'm going to crawl into my room and suffer. Oh my gosh, Avli. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're doing better. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, let's go this way. Oh no. It's these boils that hurt. That shit hurt it. I'm gonna go in and fight him anyway. This one's tough. And of course I don't have wind stuff. Oh, oh, I got a new move. Let's go, get into it. Although that's not useful. I wanted the weakness. What the hell just hit me? Why? Like, I didn't even see it. Get up. Like, I feel like I'm just missing something. And it only hits me like that. What is happening? I need to see what's happening. I'll have to run it back. What is this? Oh, shut up, rabbits. Don't, don't fucking feed this shit. Um, let's do an orange gel. Because I don't like how low it is. Oh. Yin Yarbin Destroyer, how are you? I hope you're having a good day so far. I hope things are going well for ya. Shroomies. Angry boys. Wait, but are there things behind the angry boys? How far are you gonna follow me? Oh well, shit, this is a real bad. I gotta have five of them. But we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Damn it. What's wrong? Are you poison? Are you poison? You're gonna pretend you're standing in the poison, sir. Sir. I need you to hit that stuff better, girl. Oh, that's okay. That works. That was beautiful. He's gonna die before I can get that. Shit! Where are you? Cat. <laughs> it was cat. Oh my god. No, it was it was cat. It was not food. I I heard the call of the people, and by the call of the people, I mean I heard the classic telltale of, hey mom, I'm gonna puke on the carpet, and that's why you just saw me bolt away from stream. Sorry about that. I just I heard the call and was like, no 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 no. <laughs> Let's not do this. Oh, 
Oh my god, this poison. Good lord. Ugh. Oh, I'm familiar with that call too. Yeah, the call hit. I heard it mixed in with the song that was for the fighting. I heard it mixed in with the battle music. And that's why I was like, oh shit. And you just saw me bolt off. Literally why you just saw me bolt off. Oh, that was terrifying. Ugh. Oh, which tile was Ray attached to? It is attached to... Let's look. I know I don't have these up here done. Oh, never mind. I, uh, it's one of the, um, it's the uh, outfit DLC. It's the outfit DLC. That's why I have it so early. The sound of cleaning. Nothing gets me moving faster than that. You see, I sprinted. You see that the sprint took hold. I'm gonna have to like go back and see how dramatic that was too. Ooh. You? Orange gel? It like it's like it knows. Okay, there's nothing else, so we have to drop. Oh, girl, that like that hurted. That is one enormous stray. <gasps> I don't think we can take it right now. Oh, I have the Physion tabs, but don't worry, Vallejo. I don't need the Physion tabs when I run out and he runs into the litter box to do this. Wait, that's how you get here? Wait, what's wrong? Oh, well, what, did I just do something that you haven't done yet? I wish Emma did that. Yeah, I got really lucky just now. No wonder that was getting fucked up. Okay. Yeah, I passed by the Zugal when I came through here, but didn't figure out how to get to it. Oh, well, I'm going to punch it. I'm just, as long as we're all aware of that, I'm, I'm going to punch it. Oh good, food is on the way now. I love that for me. What are we doing? Put that on, you goofball. Go right to it, terrorize the surprise. Were these here before and I just made that up? Did I, were these quest items? Cause I don't think those were there before. Like I know that I have my moments of unattentive, but that feels like that would have been especially unattentive. You think it's DLC? Okay, that's why I was like, I had a cat that did daily hairball. So I mostly listened to check. She didn't do one in a better couch. Then calmly went to clean later. Yeah, I was gonna say, I just wanna make sure more than anything that he's not on, um... Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to fight these all at once, aren't I? All right, before we go in, let's, let's spritz our face. Uh, raises match, ooh, that's nice. Um, let's see. And thank you for the lurk, r -crap. Yeah, I just want to make sure that he's not on the carpet because we have so much carpet in this apartment. But he's gotten better, and it's mostly hairballs. Um, he's been much better about doing it on tiled areas, or in the case of today, he did it in the litter box. And I'm like, yes, please put your hairballs in the litter box. That's fine with me. Fuck. I'm going to do something dangerous, I think. You're going to sit there for a second. Orange gel. 
I am not gonna do something dangerous. And this is why you walked past it, huh? Hey, I'm... I'm trying to talk to my chat and plot here. Can you maybe... Oh, you... Can you maybe mellow? Ooh, there's a box behind you, too. Well, we're going in! We don't have much choice. I mean, we had a choice, and I chose murder. Oh, get bodied. Ooh, that's much better damage. Oh, don't corner me like this. Don't touch me, fam. Hey, I need you to maybe not tread on me like this, yeah? I would say, Brosif, you're not doing anything. Oh, no. Oh, I see it. I get it. Wait a minute. Aha! Other cities usually have. Oh shit. We're good. I want back here. Oh my god, it turned around. I hate everything. It turned around. I hate everything. Gotcha, bitch. I don't think it's gonna die, though. Yeah, I want this. I want that core break. Oh my god, you can't yell at me like that. Sir, we're on the same team. He dodged on. Got him. Alright. It's time to drop all the damage. Every damage. Hey, Steve. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Really? You will bully my healer? You will bully my healer? I can't believe you will bully my healer like this. Ooh, are we gonna get it in time? Nope. God damn it. Fucking shit. Uh, Not good enough. That wasn't terrible. I got hit by the nonsense at the end there. The superpower of experienced cat owners is waking up in the middle of the night, identifying a cat noise that woke him up, and quickly deciding if he can wait till morning or not. If so, falling asleep again. Yes, this is true. That's why, like, when I heard that one in particular, I was like, I have to actually move that. And make sure he's in the right spot. Came back from a walk. It was already raining, but it started really raining halfway through. Oh, walking in the rain is always nice, though. It's always nice. I think I can kill it. I think I can kill it. I'm willing to go through the orange gel and try again. We just have to, I didn't realize that the core was on it until way too late. But I think I can kill it. Oh my gosh. Brace yourselves. This one's tough. Well that's not okay. None of that was okay. Let me grab an apple. Hey, hey, I'm trying to heal. You wanna chill out for a second? 
Get interrupted. Alright, so that one's gone. There we go. Or also superpower decided empathetically to deal with that shit later. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I was reading chat. That's gonna take all my CP though. So that means we have to do this without heals. Eh, it's not an F yet. I'm not dropping an F yet. Hey, Shion. There you go, girl. I'm so glad you just have an indeterminate amount of freaking HP, other dude person. Ooh, Shion's going down. I want this. And then you want this. Oh, you, you clown. Everything about that is just clown behavior. Well, I hope that they escape your judgment and you are, are at least moving. Alright, there we go. One. I want that core. There we go. Girl, I'm trying to take it down. If you could just stop bullying me for half a second. I think that's the big one. Um, I can withstand it if I fuck up. Oh, it's not the big one yet. Although that just ate up my freaking apple gel. Hello? Hey, Pixely. This is the big one. I'm paralyzed, but that's fine because it didn't hit me. Oh, and this is perfect. My person is approaching with my food, so give me one second. Her leotard has Bayonetta vibes. Oh no, she's a Mia from What You Must Shit, Code Vein. Give me your core. I have food to pick up. You're literally infringing on me at this point. Oh my god, if you don't turn... There we go. I was like, turn back around. You're done, son. I said I was gonna beat you. Alright, now I'm gonna grab my food. I would like my cookies, please. Thank you. Duffed. <laughs> What's in this box? Onyx mail. And what have we got here? Oh, I saw that in a book once. Those things are worth a lot. What is? You're a little bookworm, aren't you? <laughs> I can't be seen when I'm using my laptop but not when I'm using my smartphone. I don't think Steve even uses Commander Root, like in any way, shape, or form. I could be way wrong on that. I love the hairstyle on Xion here. Isn't this amazing? The aesthetic there is A heckin' plus. Speaking of, we're gonna leave it on her. I'll admire Xion and all her grace. I'm gonna grab my food and be right back.
They said she was on her way. I checked the app, but she was still like a smooth five minutes out. Yeah, one of the outfits is for Nina Wilms, but the character that wears it, I don't have them yet. Oof. My CP going through it. Did I put on that armor? Yes. I've seen the sparkles. I really hope that... I get a camping spot. It was a cliff. Yeah, it was a cliff over, which is why I didn't want to drop down. I just wanted to go ahead and take the L and be like, you know what, if I die, I die. Oh, God, get that poison out of here. Or or I won't do my burst. That's that's fine, too. I don't think I'm going to be able to do any more healing for now. Oh, you'll be fine. You being dramatic. Alright, so... Wait a minute, where am I? Fuck. There I am. So I grab that, I grab that. I regret to inform you that I must quit the band. Oh no, what's wrong, Gona? What happened? I just have to go explore and find that hole myself, I guess. Gigi's on popping that nerd though. Nerd. Hey, Spring Leaf. How are you? Also, can we get an exclamation point charity in chat? Ugh! Just reminded right that we are raising money for charity water. Although I have the sinking feeling that y'all are waiting until, y'all are waiting until, um, next week so that you could be like but what about crowd control ah fucking biscuits i keep doing that to find my menu my menu's on square oh uh, no that's what your healer sounds like oh my gosh oh yeah it's true finally home from work gonna be in and out chat while i'm playing stardew valley oh what are you doing in stardew i would like to know more Hmm. Maybe I am just gonna go ahead and stop being a, a try-hard nerd. Ooh. Okay, I can't go that way. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those nerds over there. And that's why you passed it, I understand. Ooh, that's a fight, and I can't heal through it. Is it a bag, or is it materials? It's materials. So I can leave it be for now. Oh, shit. These nerds. I feel like I'm about to freeze. <gasps> Hold on! Time out! I wasn't ready yet. God, bless it. Gotta eat some mashed spuds for dinner. I know. We got spuds. Get out of here, nerds. I want a campfire. How far are you gonna go? Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calabria. That big was evil. Listen, get out of here, nerd. I don't have no healing. We healing. rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's that our end game no here? Out there. Good question. Jordash, please. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans. Yet we rarely take up arms because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the lords and freeing Dana, then what? Oh my god, this fucking... Us, the Renan motherland behind it. 
If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second. No matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. That was perfect. Yeah, so I'm making that face Vallejo because I gave them the door code to bring it to my door. And I was just like, oh, okay, I got the email, so it must be here. Which was accurate. Except for the part that she didn't bother with the door code, she quite literally dropped the food off at the front apartment complex door. So it's a good thing I was mindful for it, because otherwise it would have been sitting out on the street. <laughs> so this yeah, is culinary. How far is it to the capital? Howdy, so friends. Just took a nap on a chair by accident. Oh, so yes. Hope your backs are doing way better than mine. So you know. Be careful. It's funny yeah. you say that. <gasps> Who just dropped off? Stick close together. Who did? <laughs> Agreed. Thank you for the donation. Who did that? It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Who did that? What's on the menu? Um, pesto cavatappi with parmesan crusted chicken and tomatoes and shroomies. Who donated that twenty-five dollars? <laughs> Thank you so much for the twenty-five dollar donate. Oh my God, was it you, rabbits? Was it you? Can we get some hype and chat for the donation? Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, smoke weed every day. I hate y'all. Those thorns of hers. She's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her. Oh no. Used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Listen, Zephyr, I, you can't die. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. Zephyr's just out here with bars. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? You gotta stop saying that. So, oh! There is an inn over there. I wonder if I can make it. You can't die, is that a challenge? Tails will take that challenge. Especially with me at the helm? Normally I don't pick on the weak. Come on! Come on! Don't go charging- Um, the Angie emote is my favorite one to date. With a close second still being a twisted cringe. And thank you so much, Dimples, for the 11 month resub. I appreciate you. Can we please do some hype and chat for the resub? Oh. I don't think I'm going to be able to do any more healing for now. Mmm! Charity Water, how are you? I hope you're having a good day. I hope your fundraising is going well. We're 396 away from clean water for 50 people. And this is indefinitely, right? I'm trying to make sure I'm following my facts correctly. Oh, fuck. biscuits. And if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. All right, game, I'll put on the fire. Oh, well, I guess I'm going down now. Great. Now I'm hurt and dirty. 
Xion, I need you to stop it. Would you like it. to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. I just want to go camp. Mm -hmm. Fire here passes no judgment. All are welcome to pass Miss Warm. Did you forget what I said before? I know I only want to learn a little more about our new realm. Our projects are sustainable and are meant to stand the test of time. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. Oh wait, what did I miss from base? And Linux, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate you. Maybe poor trust awards on my part. I think it's one thing to take on a defeat a systemic problem, it's another to try and build something up to replace it so things get better. I must have missed part of that. Plus our local partners help make repairs when we just so it's indefinitely so indefinitely is correct. Oh, who are some of your local partners? You mean just like people that are boots on the ground? I'm so sorry, I have so many questions all the time. Hmm. They're full of wares to sell, like medicine. Also, whoever donated the $25, I need to know what you want me to do for incentives. Um, plus my tools that I use make accessories out of ore from time to time. Oh, do you have new cookies? Oh my gosh, you got excited at accessories. I mean, people down here are down to wear them too. Now I'm intrigued. Just how good of a craftsman are you? I tell you what, I'm going to have to see some of your handiwork for myself. Whoa. Girl, just say you want you a new clutch and be done. The metal engraver can craft accessories for you using ore that you mine from mining points. Once you strengthen an accessory and act activate new skills for it, you can even transfer those skills to a different accessory altogether. Oh, I like that. That's a... I think they pulled that from... Um, isn't that a system we saw in Final Fantasy IX? Where you wore it, learned it, and then you could keep it indefinitely? Mmm, okay. I see you, Bice. I was very confused. We work with local nonprofits and local chapters of global NGOs to implement the projects on the ground. Nice! I love this for us. I love that. Oh my god. What in the hell is this? Sorry, my stuff just like completely warped out of control. Alright, we're Gucci. Tales of Vesperia does something similar with how you learn skills from weapons and sub-weapons. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh. I forgot too that we're gonna be ending a little early. Because if you follow my coffee, you know why I'm ending early. Oh, poison charms. Blessings. You can use ore to craft accessories. Once you select an accessory to craft, choose the ore you wish to use as its material. The rarity and any bonus skills belonging to that ore will be carried over any accessory that's created. Ore can possess up to four skills with rare ones offering more skills. To activate these bonus skills, the accessories crafted from ores must be enhanced. We're definitely going to be making some of these. I was like, are you on um, the coffee? You know why we're ending early? I'm trying to keep track of it. Yeah, I'm ending early, SJ. It's not a coffee exclusive. I just wanted to let them know earlier. Um, Yeah, but I can give you a little bit of a hint because I can't talk too much about it. I'm ending early because I have a game review to get out by Monday. And that's literally all I can say on it. Ooh. I have to see what that actually means. Oh, exciting. Yes. I'm very excited about it. What in the hell? There we go. That's exciting. I'm very excited, Charity Water, and I'm hoping that I can get more people. I think I'm going to put something on my YouTube about the donations, not donations, about the fundraiser as well. I can't words. I can't words at all. It's probably because I'm trying to eat, because I haven't eaten yet. Oh. I realized last night that I ate like garbage, and that was terrible. Hmm. Yes, tune in Monday. We're going to have new game reviews. I have a couple of game reviews I'm putting out this month in general. Because I want to get um, Essays on Empathy out. I want to get Starmancer out. I want to get Star Hunter DX out. That's so kind of you. Yeah. I mean, I, I just kind of feel like 
maybe I'm just above and beyond an extra, which is very possible because it's me. I just kind of feel like if I'm going to be doing things like charity fundraisers, I should put it out as much and as hard as I can. So like, I try to put it on Twitter, I try to put it on Facebook, even though I hate Facebook and I try not to use Facebook because it makes me tired. And then, um, I just try to cover all my bases as best I can. That amplifies the likelihood of getting donations because we want donations, right? Mm, okay. Yep, that one tracks. That one tracks. There we go. Oh, is there a certain PS5 game coming out soon? You know, Arachnophobe. Coffee people know what it is. And it's kind of hype. It's only a f it listen. I feel that way. Enhancing an accessory raises its level and activates bonus skills. Doing so requires ore and other accessories. The rarer both of these things are, the greater the target accessory will level up when enhanced. Music to our ears. I try to help. I try to help as best I can. So how do you... Oh. Oh no. I have to give five? Oh, I have a lot of them. It's at least only a hundred bucks. Let me go look at coffee real quick. Handle it. Yes. I don't want to sell that. Let's make one of these. And then let's make another poison stone. It's a game I'd like to watch. Um, so obviously Paul gets first dibs on everything because we live together. And when I told him I was reviewing that, he perked up real quick. Like he was like, oh, are you now? And I was like, I am. Ooh. But now, if this is null paralysis, then what is... Hmm, no. It almost got me with the okie dokie. It almost, it almost did it to me. That's a long time wishlist game, and you're doing a review of it as perfection. I'm really excited about it. Who just dropped off that $50 donation? Who done it? I don't know how I have sniping capabilities reading these numbers. It's like I feel the donations coming in or something. Brad, thank you so much for the $50 donation. I appreciate you. And you'll have to let me know what you would like for me to do. Someone in my apartment complex just now decided to play the I like to move it song from... I dislike that. I don't like that at all. Let's do one of these two. Oh, I do like resistance. Who done did it? It was Brad. I don't know what Brad, but it was Brad. Thank you so much for the $50. Can we please get some hype in chat for the donation? I was like, I enjoy our Saturday chills um, days. Mm. I enjoy our Saturday chill days. Hmm. What do you think? Did I pass your test? All right. It's decent enough, I suppose. Not the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but it looks practical at least. If I come across any ore, I might be back. Until then, you better work on upping your- mm -hmm. Wow! <sighs> you should be calling out she on yourself, not me, Renwell. I don't want to talk to her. Ooh! <laughs> She's- Ooh! Only $66 away from $5,000 for the entire campaign, too. And we're only just getting started. I was going to ask about that. I was going to say, are, um, is it going to be certain days that you're pushing to get more people involved? Now, I know I got a couple people from Wine Cellar who are raising money, too. And I was looking at that last night. There's a team that's $200 ahead of my team, and I'm coming for them. I No. They, it's literally like less than $200 difference. And I was like, how dare you? Or oh, that makes sense. <laughs> what? Yeah, side eye. 
But yeah, this is something I already appreciate about the writing. Like, these characters seriously have personality even in all the little stuff. We're running the campaign through the end of November. I remember you saying that. And I did want to say thank you for doing that, because I know originally it was just for September. But given that you're paying attention to things that's going on, you leaving it open longer, I think, is a huge boon. <laughs> Good idea, but I'm not that hungry. We should never go into battle on an empty stomach, and you can never tell when the enemy's gonna attack. Mm. Girl, just say you wanna eat. Right. Uh. Just say you wanna eat. Oh no, not the blushy face. I think I just figured out why what charity I'm doing for my stream birthday now. Do it! Just great. If you need help setting up your campaign and stuff, let me know. Um, we have instructions in the Discord, and I can walk you through it in my sleep. I'll play Charity Water. Do you want me to say Charity Water or can I call you Anthony? Alright. Oh my god, this little girl looks like she hates everyone. Um, Ghana, I have that link nice. missing for the time being because of all the stuff going on with the raids. Um, can one of my mods message Ghana Hawking the link to Discord? It should be a live link. I love a walkthrough. I've got some ideas based on the article someone linked me in the line cell about kind of a baby and need a map. That's fine. Yeah, the article they linked to you was my written piece on Medium about starting your first charity fundraiser. I can point you to a lot of facts and information. I can get you where you need to go. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I know some people don't want to have their real name out there like that. So I always am just trying to be certain. Right. Oh. Glad to hear you both liked it, but did I learn it? Is the question. Right. I like just said it's not good to fight on an empty stomach. I'm good. Sean, eat the stuff or I'll throw it away. Oh my god, she's so hungry. Look at Rinwell. Rinwell is aesthetic. This is my life in a nutshell. Is this facial expression. Veggie soup? Well, no wonder it took three tries. It's freaking soup. I, as much as I enjoy soup. Yeah, I'd say so. She better be after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? Oh, but that didn't count. I want to cook. Rinwell is 200% done with your nonsense. Rinwell doesn't care about anything you're, you're talking about. You're making a veggie burrito again? Are you really? The snow will do that. It absorbs a lot of sound. Mean Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way. I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides... It's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Moonchild, thank you for the $10 oh, donation! How'd you make it to mm. Galaglia in the first place? I have food. Hang on, I'm chewing. Can we get some hype in chat for the $10 life. donation? What would you like for me to do? Everyone who's donated today hasn't given me incentives. It. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Well, oh no. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. Oh, she lying? Our frat dude? Kitty snacks? We love the kids? Okay. I don't know if the other one, he might not be, well, no, it was a hairball, so he should be fine. Which stinky is it? Oh no. Which stinky is this? Is this the Simon stinky? Alright, Simon stinky. Oh, I see you getting excited. Is it time for snacks? Come on! 
Yeah, you know what time it is. Oh, no. Come on up here. Don't be shy. Oh, no. That's the wrong stinky. You, you gotta, you gotta... He started to jump up and then he stopped. My Twitch decided to get a potato quality, so I literally just see a black chair. No, that's not just stinky foods. That's not for you. He he does that. He's just like, it's me, right? No. Alright, you know what the drill is. You gotta sit down. Wow. I do. Yeah, was it y'all always sit? Yeah. Can I get one shape? Hmm? No, you still think the shake is foods. Oh my goodness, look at those kitties. Hey, Stray, welcome on in. There you go, stink, stink. Oh my gosh, you're not this much. Okay, let's try again. Mm -hmm. You still think the shake is foods? Yeah, because he knows how to do a handshake, but because food's involved, he immediately is just like, oh, treats are there. No, there's no treats there. All right, can we do another one? You gotta rearrange. Simon! Oh, wait. He's lost track of everything. He's disoriented. Oh, no, hang on. He's in rubby mode. That's what's wrong. Okay. Yeah. He didn't even look at me. He's looking at the pepperoni. Just like, yeah, I'll give you the high five. Give me the meat. Give me the meat. Funky, you don't like pepperoni, so why are you even sitting? You getting swift with him. I did. Oh no, he knows he's in queue. He's like, nah, fam, I gave you one. Give me my snack. Oh, meats. Yeah, so the um the way that I'm doing this, Moonchild, is I have a points redeem for um regular kitty treats. But if you're willing to do a donation of $10, they'll get upgraded treats. And so Simon gets pieces of pepperoni. And then Funky, his favorite human treat is cheese. So they get pepperonis and cheese. I miss the days when Funky, actually his favorite treat used to be raw spinach. So he would just sit there and eat his little leaf. Oh, yes. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Oh. Or are you tired? You like you're tired. Yeah, you got one more for me. Thank you, Stinky. Why does the cat like cheese? Mm -hmm. He loves cheese. He likes um, skim mozzarella. He also likes Gouda. He likes a lot of the uh, moisture white cheeses because if you try to give him cheddar, he's just like, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. He'll just sniff it and he does that thing where he does the sniff and his mouth is agape. So he's just like. The cat also has, yes, the cat has cheese preferences. Um, his favorite cheese to actually like get from us he likes white cheeses, but if he had his say, he purposely likes the string cheese the most. He likes the string cheese the most. Because you open up the wrapper and it doesn't matter where you are in the house. He'll just come running after you like, hi, yes, uh, I heard that you have cheese. And we uh, we make fun of him and say he has what's called a cheese sit. It, string cheese is fantastic, it's true. Um, Let me see if I can fix this a little bit so y'all can see both of them. There we go. Say so we, we make fun of him and say he has what's called a cheese sit. And we call it the cheese sit because he hears it and he has like this perfect prim and proper sit down that he does while begging for cheese. Yeah. My stinky boys. Yeah, my stinky, stinky boys. So those of you who are new here, this is Simon and Garfunkel. They are twin brothers. 
They're six years old. And they are very good beans. Until they try to knock over mommy's food. Please don't. One day I shall notice American Wonder known as string cheese. String cheese is great. Yeah. Ugh. That's mommy's nail. That's not a snack. Are you two done taking over stream? Can I have my chair back? Can I have my chair back? Look, Funky didn't just sat down. I must give it to them. They get along way better than the real Simon and Garfunkel. Accurate. This is the content I come here for. Is to watch my cats take over my chair. Look at these stinkies. Look at these little cutie buns. It's true, this chair is theirs now. I, I don't, who dropped off that $30 donation? I see you. Who did that? It's a Springly. Springly, thank you for the $30 donation. I appreciate you. Can't be argued cat chair's best chair. And look at how diligent they are too. What would you like for me to do, Springly? And how are you doing, Jess? I wanna do that one sound. I would like to see the baby. And just see the baby. Oh. Oh. Adorable little boys. Yeah, these are my little stinky buns. My little stinky buns. At the end of stream, we will be doing a giveaway for game keys. For every $100, we'll do a game key. I picked the streamer snack. Oh, hang on. That means I'm just gonna hang out with my cats and eat a little bit. <laughs> You're welcome to use more, because I know that's only five bucks. What do you think you're doing? Hmm? What do you think you're doing? Does this need a kitty check? Does this need kitty verification? You don't even want to check it. You just want to rub the bowl. Okay, please check the food. Funky, you would like to inspect? Okay, I got Funky's approval. We're good to eat this. This is how I end up with three cats again. Yesterday, someone said that I should get a third cat. And what was the name for it? Nergi. I should name it Nergi after Nergigante. Because that's my favorite animal in uh, Monster Hunter. You already checked this. This is certified safe for humans. You already wrote off on this. Alright, you two. Mommy wants her stream back. So, you gotta go, and you gotta go. I'm gonna tick this back up. I don't know if that's high enough. It might be too high. Oh, that's like perfect. Fantastic. Uh, hello? There we go. Simon Garfunkel and Oats is still the best combo. You're not wrong, babe. <laughs> You're not wrong. That was the original third one, is Simon Garfunkel and Oats. Although we don't need three cats. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. How's work? How's your work day going? I got your third cat. They really like sitting in the view of the webcam. Would they be an inner... I, you can't make me read that. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Oh, thank you so much, Stray Hal Hal. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance. Oh, yeah, Saturday is your chill day. Uh, uh, you might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with a cold, too. Mm -hmm. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with. Uh. Was that also a sneeze? <laughs> I just bit my tongue, that's all. Girl, you what? No, it sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still. It wasn't a sneeze, okay? <laughs> Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. She kills me. She's extra. Oh my god, I have so many skits. 
Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? At all, as Jack. Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. Has Alfin been reading you my Twitter mentions? You overthrew Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the blazing sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crows, Zephyr. Uh, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. Hey, you're Jubal. a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange hey, one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? If they kill Zephyr, I will actually riot. Like, I can feel the riot coming in. Oh my god, I have no vegetables. All I have is shrooms and porridge. I'm telling you, Banco literally can see the future. If this is a bit of a different game, the Blazing Sword would be the name of Alphan's smoking utensil. I mean, can it not be so at this juncture? All done. Come and eat. Hmm. I was gonna say I wanted my cooking buff. I also need to do, um, I think I have enough for Shion's cooking thing. Can he inhale from the sword? If he tries hard enough, probably. If he tries hard enough, yeah. I should navigate that. I sat through that skit and went, how did they read all of Twitter this past week to have these characters spit like this? Past fucking three weeks, are you kidding me? They probably sitting in Discord. Sitting in the wine cell, just like, hmm, how do we interpret this and put it into a game? That's gonna be the big reveal. The Bamco employee that's sitting in the Twitter, uh, not Twitter, sitting in the wine cellar. I need to work on my boosted attacks. That was gonna take a while. Hmm. What are you playing this on? <laughs> I'm laughing at your name. I'm playing this on PS5. I'm currently playing this on PS5. They do have it for um, PS4, PS5, Series S and X, um, Xbone, and PC. I'm actually surprised at how well it's holding up in general against um, being streamed because I know last time when I was playing Bloodborne, there was a little bit of integrity loss. But this looks like it's doing pretty good. Uh, let's do this, this. And turn that off. Oh, turn that off. Jesus Christ, girl. There's no point in having that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Dude, do you have gels? Wait, when were you playing Bloodborne? Back on your PS4 or have you played it on a PS5 recently? I did my full Bloodborne playthrough on my PS4. I did that on my PS4. Oof. Ooh, that man don't have, um... Uh, that man doesn't have any orange gels. Let's go. I need to make this though. <laughs> Demi Human Talent. I was thinking about picking this up, but I'd be playing on PS4 vanilla and I have concerns. Why do you have concerns? 
What concerns do you have? Because I would like to see if maybe I can help you with those. I was scared I missed the Bloodborne screen because of unnecessary time zones. I vote we abolish time. Correct. Uh, yes, I played it on PS4. I have, if you wanted to watch my Bloodborne playthrough, I have it all up on my YouTube. It's all its own dedicated playlist, too. And it's a start to finish. Including when my PS4 died and I had to perform surgery. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. Oh shit, I didn't mean to equip it. Whoops. I always love the sound of hammers. You didn't know I had a YouTube, that's cool. Yeah, you can actually find my YouTube by just going to youtube.com slash pleasantly twisted. Oh, oh, you just reminded me by the way. We hit 500 subs. We hit 500 subs. Rejoice. We hit 500 subs on the YouTube. I think it's a thousand subs and you can get monetized, but I'm just happy we hit 500. So thank you so much, everybody. And yes, there's Bloodborne Costco, which is like the stream at its peak. Ooh. Chicken. What could this be? Chicken, thanks, Jared Water. Um, time to binge, because I... Time to binge because thoroughly enjoy seeing how others run through Bloodborne. YouTube is so freaking hard. I know, YouTube is difficult. Um, I ran through Bloodborne. I did a full strength build using the, okay. um, not the axe, but the one that looks like teeth. I can't think of it right now because my brain is like mush. Oh, thank you so much, Selma. Yeah, Selma's found the channel when I was playing um, Bloodborne, I believe. That's when you first came in, right? Was when I started my Bloodborne playthrough. And, um, oh, it was great. I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm gonna beat these men up. Yeah, I went with the sock cleaver. Thank you. Oh, I need to change my own moves. Oh my gosh. Oh, bullets. Yeah, I gotta put fire stuff on. I gotta put fire stuff on. It dethroned for DS3. It did. It did. Friendship ended with DS3. Bloodborne is my best friend now. It's true. It's very, very true. I'm dropping the ball everywhere. Oh, baby. Alright, so someone... Refresh my memory. What does penetration do? <laughs> Let's do that. Um, are you playing Demon Souls soon-ish? I don't know because I saw the price point and I kind of had my moment of just giving it a side eye. But ironically enough, Oro, um, when I announced that I got the PS5, half of the comments was just so when are you going to play um, Demon Souls? And they're asking for Demon Souls co-op. Oh, hydration. Thanks, Sage. Twitch unfollowed me for some reason. Uh, Twitter did that to me last night to like one of my regulars. I unfollowed Bugbot was like, oh, you unfollowed this person. And I was like, since when? How? Girl, what? Mm. After stream is going on. Um, let's see. Oh, yes, and I'm gonna save once I'm done with all this. Thank you so much, Kaldanen. Let's do that. You can wear the poison charm. I noticed you in my recommendations, and I was like, what the hell? Yeah, like, it's been a bunch of them doing that. It's really, really uh, just asinine. It's kind of a, a just annoying. Ooh, goodness. I guess I do technically always have fire on deck. It's probably gonna be like, you know, if you just do that, you could use fire. But that requires HP is the problem. All right, let's see. I hate camping out. I don't know why Xion dislikes camping so much. Oh, I'm gonna beat these up. Normally I don't pick on the weak. I can't figure out the timing on them though to save my life. Hey, stop, stop hitting her. Uh -oh. There we go. 
Twitch turned off notifications for a streamer I regularly watch. Oh, I love that. Fucking love that. That's not annoying at all. Ooh, I have a lot of ways I can go. I gotta beat these men up regardless. An opponent like this should be easy. How does the combat feel now that you're properly in it? Um, really good. There's still a few things that you have to catch yourself on, like your AG, which is those little ticks at the bottom, above my health bar. You have to really be mindful of how full that is, because if you try to spam, the game will implement measures to keep you from spamming. So, like, what I mean by that is it'll kind of force you into a delay, it'll force you into a delay, and then if you choose to keep spamming after that, it'll start giving you diminishing returns. So you just have to be mindful of your AG more than anything. Hey, fight me. No choice. I never miss. I'm on it. She she ain't missed that. She's absolutely correct. You missed several streams because of it. See, that's irritating too. Because you have no idea until you all of a sudden like look up and you're like, huh, I feel like I haven't been to this channel in a while. And you go back and look, oh, well, there's why type of thing. There's stuff over here. All this damn wheat. I need potatoes. I honestly need potatoes. So, like, see how my bar is empty and it kind of, like, forces you into a delay? It just wants you to be really, really mindful about how you're fighting. Glad to hear it. In that case, cover me. That was almost too easy. I'm gonna have to agree with him on that. Um, let's see. There's a baggie. Apple gels! I do like my apple gels. But yeah, Selma, the combat feels really good. Um, it feels really fluid. And it does try to make you into a much more deliberate player rather than just walking up and being like, oh, gonna spam all day. Damn. Worth our time. I didn't mean to actually kill them. <gasps> but it counts! I definitely meant to kill them! What we got here? What's it flying? Press R2 to recover and land with that. Oh my god, yes. Yes. I've been wanting this. This game looks really good. I have too many unplayed games. I just might buy this. I'm really enjoying this. And this is a huge problem because I like watching Paul play Psychonauts. I have other games I want to play on my library on Steam. I have four game reviews I need to do, and then on top of that, my Genshin players are suffering. Like, my team is in the back weeping because I haven't played them in three days. And then on top of all of that, I want to get together with community and play Castle Crashers. Like, I've decided that's what I want to play. I want to play Castle Crashers. The game's drawn a better balance between how Viserion did it and some of the tricky parts with the older games. I need a Series S or X. Oh my god. Paul's been playing it, and it's been absolutely a delight to watch. I know Dichotomous Prime, one of the regulars of the community, has also been playing it. And when I say that this game looks good, it looks damn fucking good. Like, it is platforming at its finest. You chose to play this over a Kirby game? Rabbits, are you feeling okay? Is this Rabbits? Blink twice if this is rabbits. Blink twice if this is rabbits. Ooh, that's dangerous because I like special ammo, but I want to work towards this. I think once I'm done with this, I might actually cave and take all the rest of the DLC. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Tales games are amazing. I haven't played one since Vesperia, though. I am feeling excellent. Oh my god, these eyes. I- oh, the eyes kill me. The eyes kill me. 
Yeah, you know, there's a ball one shield one with the last shot or last special bullet. With regards to Viseria, imagine that basically all your attacks consume AG, with more ways to regenerate and regain. Viseria makes it work, but the system can be real difficult unless you learn the rules. That's fair. That's fair. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do the special ammo. There's no reason not to. And this game does a really good job, I think, of letting you know, hey, you can work towards certain things, but literally for stuff like SP, it will just look you in the face and be like, there is no value, literally none, in just holding on to your SP just in case. Just, just spend it. The game throws SP at you. And then when you do side quests, you get SP. When you're doing other things, you get SP. Oh, those are new and I want them. But I want these two. All right, hang on. Let's fight this first. So, I was like, excuse me. Now she bodied them so bad. Oh, I didn't get the thing in time. But he did now, so it's okay. Oh, I got it right when he died! Boo! Boo! They just didn't want me to stunt. I'm upset. Oh, potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. I still only have two of these. <sighs> okay. What are these? I'm gonna make friends with them. Hello! Break yourselves! This one's tough! Oh my gosh, it already feels better. Bless. Oh, I dodged too early. Sadness. I'm not dodging correctly, I'm dodging too early. They like boyfriend material to me. They look like they give really good hugs. Oh, I was hoping that was gonna be cabbage. The character barks all the bits of little dialogue around you, pop aerial enemies with Shion and stuff, and this game are on point. Yeah, they're not, they're not invasive, if that makes sense. They're not invasive, they're not over-encumbering, they're not tiring, they're not something that's constantly being, like, drilled at you. It quite literally feels natural. It's something where, like, it's just, it's well-placed enough to have people like me be reminded, oh yeah, I can do that. If that makes sense. Houses in a place like this. People hey, Bedrock. Live all the way out here. The animations and lighting effects are so good. Yes. This one's Messiah two two four. Wait, I hear something. It sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents, the Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh, Ooh. Yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Ooh! Well, oh, that's rich coming from the Bright Eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! She kind of did. Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> Zephyr's gonna die, and I'm gonna be so pissed off. Now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes, and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's head, and nothing more. Okay, Xion. That go for you too, Alphen? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. You're outvoted. You gotta do it. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. 
thinking and making decisions for yourself and being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? He's gonna die. I'm gonna be so angry. Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. You say that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're oh, they're gonna fight. Without the sword? It looks <clears throat> to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Oh, does someone Your feel choice? needed? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there, and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Cisloden. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. I just love that the bottle head was just what walked by. You've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? I love how she's just like, well, I'm not Damn, going. And he right. says, okay. And she's like, wait, you're going to go with the sword without me? Too. I'm surprised yes. you're so angry about it. You're not even... I ain't coming, Albert. I mean, I can't make you, but I'll go. See, exactly that. That exact energy. 100% that. Oh my gosh. I'm glad we're on the same page. I'm just like, I mean, did you think I was just going to not go? Is that what you thought was going to happen? Because that's unfortunate. I'm still going. Oh, you are? I am. From here. It doesn't matter. But you can't use a sword if I don't go. Enough I mean, yeah, that's accurate. That's true. I'm going to go back. I have to I have to turn around. Anyone who Cuz I refuse to believe there's not an owl there. Is a traitor to the realm. <sighs> Damn it. Some rat must have sold us out again. You there. You want me to haul you up? Typical bright eye behavior. But, but I didn't. <laughs> what? Leave him alone. We here. An embedded dares defy the orders of his lordship. I don't have a thing. Slave. Stop calling me an embedded. <laughs> we can't use the blazing sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law. Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? Oh no. The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Oh. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship. Zephyr? What the hell? Zephyr! Here they come! Damn it! Release! Release! I don't want him yet. He's gonna be the beefy one. Let's get the trash. I'm going in. Bring him down. Think we found the traitor team. <clears throat> That's not what I want. Oh, you're the fighter! You have to join me. You gotta stop playing with my emotions. You have to join me. Excuse me. Damn. Not he just bamf back and forth. I'll get to you in a second, Law. I love how I was like, oh golly, this is tense. Throw hands, throw hands, yay! I mean, because he's the punch. Do you see this kid? Do you see this man over here just like, I will throw acrobatics at you? Oh no, I'm out of AG. I don't know why Law dislikes you. I would like an explanation. Sir, I need you to put your flamethrower away. Sir. Huh? What's going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? He called him by his name. Don't hurt him. What are you- Please. It won't work, you know. You never change, do you? You've always got that damn knowing look on your face! Zephyr! I got it. 
been handled. He just... He's my son. Oh! Oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! What in hell? Oh, shit! <laughs> that face, though. Did you see his face? <laughs> when were you? Law. Watch yourself. The insurgents are armed. Oh shit. Patient got you. Reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. I could just box these no, men. Leave without me. You can't. I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. Please, can we fight? The resistance. Everyone's counting on you. Forgive me. Selma, right? Are we gonna leave him? <gasps> we left him? But nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. Oh, we ain't just if fight. He's under arrest. They'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. He's gonna I die. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called bright eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family, my people, were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Don't make me get the friendship shirt. Danon Astral Arts. If the Rams <clears throat> knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey. What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. 
Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lord. Oh my gosh, okay? she falls into that Which so is much. No doubt what her people want too. <clears throat> Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. You know, there's other ways you can ask her to join the party. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Can I get the box? Eh? 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 What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of times passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically, it's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. Then this is called so overcast. It's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. Give me the box. That's the box I wanted. Veggie juice. Rinwell's perk. When casting an art, press and hold the art button to delay activation until you let go. You can also press R1 in the state to save it for later and charge it. Charge arts activate after your next attack for art and can be used in combos. Oh. If you cast the same art as the one currently charged, they'll combine into a higher tier spell. These can include arts that Rinwall has yet to learn or only ch or only trigger with specific combinations, so experiment and see what different hairs yield. I mean, even though Alfin had the amnesia trope, he wasn't just so naive and passive that the plot happened to him, he participates. Yeah, he actually facilitates the plot moving forward. Ow, fuck. Which is really nice. Like, he he's forgotten everything, but he's not just there like, uh, stuff. He's like, no, 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 no. I might not have forgotten, I might have forgotten everything, but that doesn't give you a pass to be an asshole. I remember what being an asshole looks like and that's what you're doing. So don't be an asshole. Hoodle. Hoodle will alert you when there's an owl on your map. One tip for finding owls is that the closer you are to one, the more Hoodle reacts. I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. I saw the bird. Can Danons enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. Remember how I said I wanted to come back anyway? Useful for surveillance here. <gasps> it's a new screen? Is it going to be a screen for each region? Oh my god. Not the Adidas. Hold on. <laughs> All right, madam. It is time to change your clothing. Demonic cap. Oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. This is adorable. Ooh. I just like that in general. All right. What we got here for clothing? Ooh, that has real big, um, this has real big Monster Hunter energy vibes. I really like this. This is really, really, like, gaudy, and it's amazing.
the feathered leggings, right? Glasses, probably glasses. Our squad is gonna be nothing but glasses. Hello, fashion, is that a joof? Hello, joof? Renwell the owl lady, yes, I love this. Travis, how far along are you in this? Oh wait, time out. I have to get my coffee and get ready to get cozy with the wine cellar. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, you're wearing glasses. I don't know why I tried to fight it. No. I am car Captor Sakura as an adult. About a zone ahead of you. I saw that you were on Steam Planet and you're getting into it. And I know you really like your RPGs too, so I figured you were hitting it heavy. I figured you were hitting it heavy. Between this and Path of Righteous, I have no life anymore. It'd be that way sometimes. I was gonna strike! Damn, Shion! You left your buddy hanging? Well, I gotta murder you too. I just, we can't just leave you out there like that. That was kind of clean. Barely a blip on our radar. Owls, owls, owls. Ooh, skit. All of creation across the heavens stems from the Look at these nails. Offices. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection. What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it I hope I get like different glasses. Spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes uh, time right, to Jeff? my chance, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. Oh, sad owl. Oh, not a skit. Hey, so, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah. Sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Uh, Easy, Shion. I say like, sometimes just, not commenting is an option. I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. Oh <gasps> that's not fair. God damn, another skit! Oh. Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while. Look at now. this sleepy face. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Rinwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is. All I see is snow. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Poodle. Damn, no. he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. Look at how big his eyes are. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. That's quite a relief. Huh? I love this. 
Hoodle plushies win. Bandai Namco, do I have to get in your DMs? Do I have to get on Twitter? Where is the plushie? Do I have to get in the DMs? Review of the game. Hoodle plushie. They need an entire line of plushies. The plushies that are on my head, all of it. Where are the items? Give them to me. Also, can we get an exclamation point charity in chat, please? Oh, we didn't have this. Orange gel. Owls? 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 Sin, I will fire you. Oh my god. Owls? 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 No. I would pay any import ransom for a hoodle riding a, a rapig. What the fuck is a rapig? I need this information immediately, if not sooner. Alright, let's get in here. Of the trash. Where were you going? Ooh, that was like the perfect sideways hit. She's not good with airborne targets and proceeds to immediately jump in air. Her strike oh, is better than Shion's strike. Confirmed. Confirmed. Oh my gosh, that was dope. There's a specific chime that happens in battles that reminds me of a microwave pinging. Ooh. Bird? Yeah, yeah, you're angry and stuff. Um, There's a box back here. Hello? Well, this wolf is slightly bigger than the other wolves. Alright, what is your thing? Oh my god. She's just abusive. That was smooth. That whole series was smooth. Vanessa, you're grounded for your tweet this morning. For what tweet? What did I tweet? Hold on. Where's my phone? What tweet? What did I say? I don't even know what I said. Hold on. I'm being bullied. Let me look. I barely even tweet. I barely even tweeted this morning. It's probably the truth. It And of course, now I want to take forever to load. Rabbit pig hybrids, they show up in a few random Tales games. Zysteria even mentions that they're pickets, which are kind of like, which are the kind you can't eat safely. What tweet? I only tweeted like twice to. Oh. Oh, I know what tweet you're talking about. I have emerged from virtual reality for the first time in 45 and 24 hours. Uh, welcome to reality. I'd say enjoy your stay, but it's pretty abysmal. It's pretty terrible. Um, but it is entertaining. That's for, for damn sure. It's entertaining. Owls? Owls? Listen, I'm just gonna have to hit you with the bolt. I'm not playing with you kids. Oh, there's a bag there. Chicken. Oh no, I might have to fight now. It took me a second, Cosmic. I was like, what in the fuck are you on about? Also, let's roll back a second to when you just said, I don't even tweet. Not this morning! I was tired! I didn't remember anything that I tweeted this morning until I did. Because I was like, is it my main tweet? All I tweeted on my page was I was going live. I had to play that back for a second. I realized where my error was. 
I was literally just thinking about tweets I made for like my go live. Owls? Owls? What's what my CP look like? Oh, my CP is in great shape. Owls? Hello, friends. I hope your Saturdays are pleasant. It's been a good Saturday. Anthony from Charity Water has been hanging out. We got a couple donations. It's been a nice, light, and easy day. And after this, I'm going to be doing game reviews, and I'm kind of hype. I really like this combination that I've accidentally made. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that though. Yeah, that whole trio, that three piece followed by the the killing blow is pretty is pretty solid. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. It's pretty heckin' dang good. I haven't checked this poor child's skills. Oh my Lanta. I won't forgive you. All types of elements and stuff. Hi, heck, hello. Hey, Nova. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. My lord. There we go. Owls? Owls? Also, while we're talking about skills, this is for Ridwell. Ah, yes, that makes sense. That's the DLC one. This is a DLC one. I had grown through your group attack vibes from that last one. I know. It's real good. Oh my gosh, I have so many things. Oh. Art casting stopped by boost attacks. That's the bombs one. That one's not ticking up. I must not be getting them. Ooh, accessories. Okay. Ooh, you're gonna be there for a while, girl. Just like you're gonna be there for a while, dude. Owls? Alright. So you're an aerial enemy, yeah? That works though. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I, I wanted to try and down it with the aerial boost, and instead I, I accidentally murdered it. Whoops. Sorry. That wasn't supposed to be what happened. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Alright, I need you to sit down, sir. Oh my Lanta, stop hitting me. We might hit both. Nope, we hit one. Oh, that man just fell over. Frames, please. Not just me. Oh no, did it eat the frames for a second? Dislikes. Alright, let's go ahead and just get out of here because we have a game to give away. Unless someone drops off $5.80, then we can give away two. And then we're going to get out of here so I can start my game review that I promised everybody on copy. <gasps> hmm? 
aus. Ah, here you are, friend. Hi, friend. Knew there was an owl out here. Eye patches. It's time for lunch for the kitties. Looks like we spotted one of Poodle's friends. Oh, goodness. There it is. Junto, thank you for the $10 donation. I appreciate it's you. Can really we please do some hype in I'm chat? So We're at 1704. We are less than 300 away from the pie. Let's say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers. Someone's the bound pie. to report us no matter what we do. I gotta check to make so sure the cats are sharing, well. though. Give me a second. Oh, you're... The cat is right here in the door, what? so they're not you sure. She's got a point. Our cover was blown I don't know which cat this is. Is that funny? Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax. The coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Ooh! Ooh! Why? Oh. Enemies who can cast astral arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike <sighs> us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt astral arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal oh God, energy, the energy, the enemy will lose focus, which I'm means I can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. Also, Junta, what are you doing with your 10 bucks? Within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. They're currently having lunch, so I can't do a cat treat. They're having lunch. I was like, Alfin just straight up said, what makes you... Ooh! <laughs> Sir! Post stream kitty treats? Okay. And then to appease Kaldanen. To appease Kaldanen. Uh, this is wrong. So if we did this. It does! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, and thank you, Anonymous, for the $20 donation. Oh my god. Please tell me someone just didn't think of that. No! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let me get these two giveaways going. Let me get these two giveaways going. And I'm going to do a mass wave of giveaways. If you won something last night, don't fret. I literally chose to go to bed instead of giveaway keys. So I'm going to give them all away today. So you'll be... I'll be in your inbox with the master list. And I'm going to refresh it with some new games, and we'll get that going from there. Um, but today, for the two giveaways, if you want to win something from Twisted's... Oh my god, it's Winnie. Winnie, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. You're just in time for a giveaway. Everyone from Winnie's raid, type eye patch in chat if you want to win a free game key. Do it now. You have three minutes. Type eye patch in chat. How is everyone from Winnie's stream? I hope you had a fantastic day. I am Pleasantly Twisted. I'm a black queer content creator. I do the try hard games of JRPGs. We do challenge runs, speed runs, and completionist things. And today we are finishing up some Tales of Arise. We're telling some Tales of Arise. And we, we stopped to do some fashion to verify that yes, indeed, they did not think about their fashion. It's great. It's wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and now we're in our second area of the game. Hello, Luna. Hey, Dreams. 
Hey, Mega. Oh, no, Mega, you've been here. You ain't getting additional highs. Both Space Valkyries can get a high. Rosie, welcome on in. Oh, my God, Noob is here, too. Noob's chat! Type eye patch in chat! No, Anna, not like that. No. Ooh, Noob, what were you making? Hang on, I need to see what Winnie was doing, too. Winnie, what were you doing? He had an Iron Mask to cover both at the start of the game. Someone probably just didn't think it was a big deal here. Hey, die. Um, so Omno, you have to tell me what Omno is. I think I have that. I haven't had, I don't, haven't had it on my wish list, but I've had to curate it. I've had to curate it. Why? We're giving away games. What do you mean? Why? Just type eye patch. Um, I'm building a Super Star Destroyer, Executor, and Lego. Ooh. Hey. Hey. All right, I'm just blasting through this. Y'all got a minute and a half. If I go back to the main yeah. town and dude yeah. doesn't have clothes yet, I'm gonna fight. It's a little adventure exploration game. I remember seeing the logo for it. Great. Oh no! Hang on, I'm refreshing web captioner because it was going through it. There we go. Huh? I stopped to do some chores and the raids have brought me here. Hello, Nisimbi! Hey, cat! How are you, boo? How have you huh? been? I'm, yeah. We're going through this. There we go. There we go. If I go back and dude doesn't have clothes, I'm going to be really irritated. Real irritated. Alright, so... Let's go... All the way over here. Woof! That is a journey. Um... Yeah, that, oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. Wait a minute. What? No, that doesn't make sense. Am I, like, messing up? There we go. Boom. All right, I love as soon as I started my dinner, the raid brought me to the winery. Oh, how wonderful. I love that for you. Do you want a tip for navigating these naps faster? Did I just find it? We've reached our destination. All right, dude. Do you have clothes? You don't have clothes yet? Mm-hmm. Am I finding it for him? Like, girl, what are you doing? I feel like I'm boiling here. Anyway, all right, let's give away these two game keys and then we're gonna get out of here because we have work to do. I can't believe, for those of you who are just joining too, I have the anime pro tag hair. Oh no. I have anime pro tag hair. Like I did my hair like this on purpose because legit, legit, Um, where is it? Look at this. Help me. This wasn't supposed to happen. <sighs> oh, gods, help me. All right, let's give away some game keys. So we got two keys we're gonna give away. We got twos we're gonna give away. And we're gonna find somebody to go hang out with. Actually, I'm gonna do this in the correct order. That's very cool hair, uh, hairdo, to be honest. I am off work early and this is great. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe that my, this is what I've been damned with. Winnie, thank you for the $5 donation. I appreciate you. Can you please get some hype in chat for the $5 donation? I just can't believe that my hair actually just went straight into it. Like, I hate this. I hate it here so much, so much. All right, let's go ahead and get these game keys going. The first winner is going to be, it's a Luna. Luna, where are you? Where you be? Also, I just like kind of threw that shit together. There's like no part or nothing. Where is Luna? Luna, you better speak up. I'm gonna have to give it away to somebody else if you don't. Dang. The, oh my God, Twitch is tripping. I'm looking at my follows list and I see people who are just like, oh yeah, you, you followed. And I'm like, um, they've been following my channel for like a year. Twitch, what are we doing? Twitch, baby. Boo boo. Honey buns. Uh, SJ, let me know when you've marked down that person. 
I was at the door. That's what always happens. Did you not see me the multiple times today that I've had? Excuse you. What do you think you're doing? Huh? What is this angry face? Oh, okay. A little prick. The next one is Space Valkyries. Yeah, Twitch. Twitch has been on one lately because I've seen a lot of people. Uh, I've seen a lot of people who've had to refollow. That I'm just like, these are people that have been following my channel literally for a year plus. A year plus. There's people I've been following that it's like, I don't follow them anymore. And I'm like, really? I've been following them for months. But go off. Fucking weird shit. Alright, so. Thank you so much everybody for hanging out. I appreciate you. Die, I will answer your message here in just a moment. Just a moment. Oh, my dasher decided to message me to say that they weren't going to, you know, put my food at my door. They were going to put it at the public facing door. I'm still angry about that. Still angry about it. Um, I'm going to find y'all someone to hang out with before we do the things and the stuff. The things and the stuff. Because I usually do this in the wrong order and then I look goofy. Hate that. Yeah, Junto. Literally, I sent them the door code. It was like, here's the door code. You could just bring it up to the door. And I got the email notification saying, oh, your food is here. And I was like, okay, sweet. And I opened my door. My food is not there. And I'm like, uh, pardon? Que? Como? Que pasa? Oh, I know where we're going. <gasps> Ooh. 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 Okay, team. Do we want Resident Evil 2 or do we want Sonic Colors? I got Resident Evil 2, I got Sonic Colors, and I have Final Fantasy 4. Um. So yeah, so my food wasn't there. I checked the picture for where they left it. Yeah, they left it at the front door of the entire apartment building. Which is, you know, facing the street. Okay, hold on, we've got, hang on, Sin! Drop off the pole. Put out the pole. We go into Sonic Colors, Final Fantasy 4. Oh, what was my other option that I just said? Sonic Colors, Final Fantasy 4, or um, Resident Evil 2. Feels like day one at delivery person training telling you not to do that. It's the part where I sent them the fucking door code. That's what makes me irritated. If they didn't know and they just wanted to get it off their hands, I get that. But it's the part where I sent them the door code and they just chose not to use it. Luckily, I was attentive and I got my food. Anyway, thank you so much everybody for hanging out. I appreciate you. What do we think about Tales of Arise? How are we feeling? Have I influenced you to waste money? Have I influenced you to waste money? I'm having a good time with it. I'm having a great time with it. It's going to be really, really hard to convince myself not to play it, considering I have all these reviews to do. But, influenced. Fantastic. Delightful. I'm tempted. Ooh. Ooh. Um. If you haven't already followed the channel, if Twitch hates you, you probably still have to refollow the channel. Because whatever. If you like what I'm doing, consider... So uh, bleh, con if you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing to my coffee consider subscribing to my coffee where you can get fun news and updates about the channel along with some kind of insider intel about things and stuff I'm doing. Um, if you like activism, I talk about black stuff, queer stuff. I talk about game accessibility. I talk about a little bit of everything to be perfectly honest. Follow my Twitter. If you'd rather have hair and cats and food and probably more hair, follow my Instagram. If you like to have something to just read while you're on your commutes that take a few minutes at a time, follow my medium. If you're thirsty in the wine cellar, I don't know what the fuck you're doing because you can use Twisted Tin at the checkouts of Advanced GG, Dryad Teas, and Grinding Coffee Co. We have all your thirst needs covered. And once again, thank you so much to Blue Microphones and Astro Gaming for being partnered with the channel. I have to hop out for a bit. Oh, we're about to head out anyway. We're literally about to head out anyway. So you're Gucci. 
I missed most of the stream, but thank you anyway. I appreciate you. Not a problem, Sophia. Not a problem at all. And it looks like our winning choice is going to be Final Fantasy IV. So, you did not put with feet. You did not put with feet. So let's go post up. If we're going to do Final Fantasy IV, that means we're going to go hang out with, if I can, you better not have just went off. Okay, there we go. Let's go hang out with, yeah, it's Final Fantasy, uh, not Final Fantasy. It's uh, probably Resident Evil 2 with feet. I, it, it's because of the person that's playing. It's the person that's playing. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. We're gonna go hang out with Joy. We're gonna hang out with Joy. Thank you so much everybody for hanging out. I greatly appreciate you. Um, I'm gonna get set up and we're gonna start doing some game reviews and I'll see y'all on Monday with some fresh YouTube content. Who knows, I might be super productive weekend. I might even get a, I might even get two reviews done. Have a good evening, everybody. Thanks for hanging. And thank you again to Bandai Namco for the key. And thank you, Anthony from Charity Water, for hanging out as well. Okay, bye. Although I'm stuck. I am stuck. I'm trying to say bye and it's not letting me. There we go.